Oops, I accidentally had myself unmuted the whole time. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie. Big whoopsie, whoopsie doopsie. Hold on. Let me just... Oh, bad. Well, whatever. Let me just... Close that thing. Collapse that folder. And... Hey! Oh, that's on. What was that? So! Here we go. There's one thing you're gonna notice. You're gonna notice something about this video. First of all, this one, this is first part of this stream, is uh... It's um... Oops, I forgot to change the stream notification. Whoopsie! Got to mix up. Hold on, let me make it quieter. Make it a bit quieter. There we go. Okay. You're going to notice something about this. The angle on the stream today is all different. It's changed up. I mean, you'll also notice the background music. That's something you'll notice. I usually don't do that kind of thing. It's usually just quiet. But I thought that, hey... Cleaning would be boring otherwise. We got a new angle on the camera today. Slightly different angle for a slightly different type of, well, part of a stream. I have with me two carts. Two N64 games right here. One is more dirty than the other. There they are. Well, actually, no. There they are. And a bit of the facade gets wiped away as you see that, yes, in fact, there's a whole container in here where I keep my prop, my unused, my props that aren't going used in a single stream. This is only for the current slots I have. I only have that for the current down. Yeah. I figured, I figured, you know what? Why not just... I got these extra lights. Well, I mean, normally I have this one like this. Normally I have this one like this. Normally I have this one down like this. You look at my face, but you know what? We're gonna need this angle here. You see, there have been plenty of times where I've just wanted to... There have been plenty of times where I've just wanted to sort of, uh... Shut the light off. But the frame rate gets nice and slow. Let me see if, uh... Shut off. Shut it back on. Yeah, the frame rate gets nice and choppy. We get low-ass frame rates. I, matter of fact, I wish I had a white light bulb like this one, or the one on my webcam. But, I'm stuck with yellow light. God, you can really see how pale my skin is, yikes. I don't know what I'm playing after I clean these two cartridges, but, I am gonna demonstrate how to clean them. Or at least how I do it. And doing that requires a couple of things. The first of which... Huh. Oh. They're on here somewhere. I mean, I figure, hey. With, I got this music, I figure, hey. Uh, it's better than just nothing. This is... A bunch of Nintendo remixes. I specifically looked up. I specifically looked up. No copy. No cop. No copyright Nintendo chill music because we're cleaning the 64 cartridges right now. Uh. Oh. <coughs> oh. Hey, you must. Like I said. So like I said yesterday, I'm cleaning these two, and then I have four possible things that I could do afterwards. I have 
a fan, a platforming fan game I could play called Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. Uh, we have that MMO I talked about a couple weeks ago called There. I could do, I could play that game. That is a dated ass game that I could really show off a bunch of stuff with. We got a, uh, like, one of the things I, I had on this list is a uh, completing the Saint achievement in Dead Rising for the Xbox One, but I'm not gonna do that tonight because that is a six to eight hour thing that I would have to have for its own. So look for that in a future one-off. And then finally, a full playthrough of SRB2, which I'm not gonna, I'm also not doing tonight because um, that would also take multiple hours. That's a huge game. Sonic Robo Blast 2 is a huge game. It's great, but it's big. It's the, it's the big game. It's a game that's been, that is, it's a game that is 20 years old. A 20 year old Doom engine originating Sonic the Hedgehog platformer. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick cool. But I'm gonna either do, I'm either gonna show off some levels from Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna play there for all of like maybe 15 minutes. Because that game is like dead. I'll get more into I'll get more into that. You know, maybe I'll do beach. Cause there I can probably get through pretty quickly. I do want to get pretty close to a four hour stream tonight. If not a full four hour stream. I have any let me look at this one thing real quick. Okay, no. No, that that ping is not from Red Star. Red Star is the guy I've been doing uh, some Resident Evil co-op, Resident Evil games co-op with. I played RE5 with him co-op, and uh, we're gonna be playing Resident Evil 6 co-op next. At least that's the plan. Nothing set in stone. I need to wait for him to get back to me. I literally messaged him like two hours ago. You have, you have like half my face cut off because it's angled down. I should be looking at you like that. Look me in the eyes. <laughs> Yeah, you should be getting some, some. I have to go unload this out of 10 minutes real quick, but then I'll be back. Alright. Well, do I have anything else to talk about for like 10 minutes? Them five guys aren't involved in this. See, that's why they're, be, they're behind. The audience? The audience is not getting to watch much of anything. This process, for people, because we ain't here. This process is a, it's a simple process. The first step. Oh, I mean, no. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till he gets back. I need to, I'm gonna wait till he gets back. But what else can I talk about? Oh, I know one thing I can talk about. I did it. I got it fixed. I put it back together. I fixed a little tabby thing. It's coated in a copious amount of super glue. <laughs> so. I just gotta make sure not to put any shells in it because it could be right back to square one. But, I got it. I did whittle it down a little bit more. I mostly just need some filler. They're about even. They're about even. So I got it. Got this. I still have the stock for it. There's no way in hell the stock still fits because I took so much material off of it, but I'm not going to put it back on anyway. It's just a cool prop. I want If I want to do, like, heavy, TF2 heavy, I probably won't, or engineer cosplay, I have the right shotgun. It was the look of the shotgun that I was looking for. The hard part is going to be trying to fit the speaker here because there's a little one of the supports is in that space but i think if i shorten the wires shave them down link them to that, link them back up together everything ought to be good i cannot put it in this at all the entire ejecting mechanism is here although maybe i can on second thought since i'm not really planning on actually using this for ejecting shells anymore i don't know i'll have to i'll have to come up with what I'm going to be doing with that. Yeah, this. Some of, this is actually a clean break when I got this off of there. Because I put a marking and then I just went. 
like knocked it off just and it snapped off right in the line that I drew so if you want to act so if you actually want to break control the breakage of plastic like this I'm not sure what kind of plastic material this is whatever it is it's cheap as hell and uh, all, all I did was I don't know where the knife went the knife that I this is the knife I usually use for scraping things off and it's also the knife I used for whittling down the plastic in the first place. But I don't know where that went. I literally used the, the tip of it to carve the entire edge. Carve along this entire edge. Let's make a line. Repeat it into it a couple of times. Not all the way through, but I get it about halfway so it's the weakest part and then go pop it off. Yeah, this does not fit anymore at all because I removed all the plastic that was directly connected to it. But it would look, you can see all the plastic I got off of there. I got a lot of it. I had to remove a lot of plastic to make this the right shape. But I think I did a pretty good job. Other than this part being all, this part's being a little screwy like that you can see it's like broken a little bit it's moving there's a crack along this way along that line there but yeah I fixed it up it cocks again that's the part that matters the that's the sound that's the sound you want in this gun I mean the can sound effect whatever in here who cares whatever you don't need the sound effect this makes a good, this makes a convincing enough sound anyway. And that's what you need. Yeah. Nice little, co little cosplay prop. I wonder if, Mu if Hugh Musk is back. <laughs> I don't have any time stamps in this chat. What the hell? Hold on. Chat settings. Where's my timestamps? Give me timestamps, please. There are no timestamps. I don't know. The hell? What is going on? Okay, whatever. Enough of that. Anyway. I'm waiting for Hugh Musk to get back because he said he had to, uh... He had to load the, unload the dishwasher for about 10 minutes. So we're just talking about different stuff. So yeah, different angle. Normally, them guys, they'd be completely visible, but they are blocked. Them three especially are completely blocked. The window's blocked, so you can't see out there. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, if I move to the side, it's just pitch black anyway. That's a reflection. That right there, that's a reflection. And now I know it looks like I'm looking at the camera when I do that, but the camera's right there. That's the camera, and that's my preview. I put it that way specifically so that when I look at my preview, I can actually, uh, I can actually admit, it tricks my brain into thinking that I'm, look, that I'm looking directly at you guys. And it also helps for eye contact. It's a few step process for cleaning these. Cleaning these cartridges. And I want to go over the steps once, Musk, once uh, Hugh Musk gets back. I don't want to call him Musk, because that's just disgusting. <laughs> musk. Blech. Some kind of, like, body smell. But it's Humusk. Or Humusk. I don't know. One of them. Well, neither of them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're just listening. I'm just listening to some no, lo-fi, no-copyright Nintendo remixes. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. But then again, uh, my channel is far from being able to be monetized over on YouTube, so I'm not really worried about monetization. What else? What else is there to talk about? I have any other plans. Man, I gotta wait for him to get back. I wanna do this shit. It's been a couple of minutes. You know what? I'm going to give him 20 seconds. 
And then if he's not back, I'm just gonna start explaining everything. I finally found. Oh, hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Huh. I must have added the Discord chat link to the cycle of. Anyway, awesome. Excellent. That means I can get to the actual explaining now. I've been just sort of talking about stuff. While we were gone, I literally just said I did this. A bit of an update. I saved it down. I think it's looking pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job. Also, I fixed it. It works now. All I do, I put the whole thing back together. Some pieces are falling apart because it's a cheap piece of garbage that's like five years old. But I mean, functionality is not what I was going for. If I was going for functionality, if I was really going for functionality, I'd have cut the speaker on. Final comparison, right there. Oh wait, you can't see it from that angle. To cut, shave off a whole lot of plastic. To get that to match up. This is the actual stock that, that was attached to it. Yeah, I think so. If I want to do some kind of like shotgun class in TF2 kind of cosplay, I can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing cost me like $10. And. The store line is Big Lots. I got it at Big Lots. It was the only one there. And it was like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me there's a toy shotgun that has the shells you can eject? Like simulation thing? Yeah, this is a... This, I'm pretty sure, is a... Where is it? It's a crappy bootleg of the... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a crappy bootleg of the one that I already have. The other one I've got. Like... That's brand name. You can see it back here. How you liking the Nintendo Remix music? I like it. I decided, I figured, hey, I might as well get, oh my god. I don't need you right now, clothes. Go over to the bed. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know if you were here a bit earlier, yeah. This is the genuine article. This is uh, bootleg trash. They looked really similar. This one's got lighter wood. My handling of it caused the wood grain to come off. You can still see the wood grain in between the little cracks. But the rest of the wood grain is pretty much gone. I don't see the same thing happening with this one. Also, this one, it's got more of a smooth texture to it. And I put an autograph on it. It's got a smooth texture to it. This one has a bit more of a defined texture to it. Like it's got grit on it. A small, a very slight amount of grit that is very noticeable. So yeah, brand, brand name, bootleg. So, there are a couple of things that I use to uh, clean these things out. And I don't just clean out the exterior. I clean out the interior of the cards as well. Let's move this down here so you can get a better look at the table. Which, by the way, I already said this earlier. The table is just a plastic Tupperware box that actually holds the props from, my, from the other slot streams. So yeah, every single time, every time that I streamed Dead... Uh, Doom 2016, the hat, the cap gun, and uh, the ga the game case, and all those sh and, well, not the shells, they were out during it, but yeah, 
I keep my off SWAT uh, props down here when I'm streaming the other one. But because I finished Doom 2016, that stuff that stuff isn't in there anymore, and Doom is back on the. No, it isn't. I forgot to put this back on the shelf. Oh, well. shelf is literally right here. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can still see me. Pretty much just right behind the camera. There we go. Okay. So we're ready to do this. Now, for this thing, you're gonna need for this process. You're gonna need a couple of things. First off, the games themselves. However many you're gonna clean, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need them all. Second, this may look like water, but actually, that is a container of 91% isopropyl alcohol. 91% is kind of overkill, because uh, anything anything 70 or over anything 70 or more is gonna work. 70% or more is the minimum. Otherwise, it's not going to properly evaporate, and you're going to just be doing more damage than good. So, like my cleaning implements. Where, are they? where is it? Why did I put that? Uh. Well, the first one. Some people use these for cleaning ears. I use them for cleaning games. Cotton swabs. I have already pre-blacked out. I've already pre-blacked out the brand. If you recognize the brand, you'll know the brand. But if you don't, haha. Second, I use the toilet paper for a lot of things. But in this case, I use it to apply. I use it to to apply the rubbing alcohol to the surfaces to remove the disgusting sticker residue. So, we have one light case, and we have we have one case of lightware, and one case of pig pen. <laughs> I don't have, these are not actual terms that I use, but, I mean, this one's almost pristine. I just wish I could find, oh, wait, wait. Mostly, what I need is a small... Mostly what I need is a small thing to clean out the Nintendo engravings here. Because as is the case with this, if I can get it to focus on it. Come on. Come on, focus on it. You can see in the T, right at the end of my finger, you can barely see it. The little dark spot. There's a small dark spot in there. There's a little bit of grime inside of there and these lines. This one and this one. It says Nintendo here. These lines get stuff, get just get grime and stuff in them all the time. The way that I get rid of that, in this case, I'm going to use an eyeglass repair screwdriver. Got an eyeglass repair kit. So I guess that's another thing you're gonna add to the list. Eyeglass repair kit. Anyone will work as long as you got the tiny, teeny, tiny little uh, screwdriver. So, you remember what I said? I'm not just gonna be cleaning the outside. I got this. Screwdriver kit. Complete with Now I have these special, but I also have a kit some I have a I have another kit somewhere I don't know where the hell it went that has these standalone Game bit screws That these are the kind of screwdrivers that can take off these little these little screws in the back here Because I like to open it up and it is surprising it is surprising what kind of stuff can get in here So Let's get into it. Uh, first, I think I'm gonna. Eh. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Hi! Okay. So, 
Now you see when I'm when I'm cleaning these games, I want to make sure I'm not wasting this rubbing alcohol because it is a processed material, and those come in limited supplies whenever you buy them. I want to save them if I can. So, the first thing that we gotta do, step one, is to always clean the contact pins. I think I go like that. I go, I angle it just right. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's focused on. Wait, if I go, I think, if I shut that off, turn it back on. No, it's not gonna be able to focus. Basically, if you look at it at an angle, you'll be able. You should, if the camera did fo like want to focus. The light reflecting off of the well, the light will be reflecting off of the pins, and it will show you if they're dirty or not. Here's what I usually do. I have these tiny little bottles that dispense it directly onto the cotton swab. Tap it a couple of times to get it nice and damp. Take the swab, you put it on the contact, and then you press it gently into it as you rub back and forth. And what you're looking for is something like something like this. That is corrosion from the from the contact pin. And you want to keep going. Just keep doing this. Keep scrubbing it, scrubbing it along. You get the entire thing covered in it. Go over it with the other side to dry it off a bit. If you got, if you have, if you're getting grime on the other side, after, like after you scrubbed it, after you scrubbed it, ha, okay, this is something I haven't experienced before. Somebody else is using an old check, the person that previously owned this used an old technique that I used. When I was younger and I was uh, stupider, I would use Wyman's glass uh, glass cooktop cleaner to clean out my games. Thing is, that shit does stay. I know it was Wyman's because they specifically labeled the brand of that stuff. Do not use that when cleaning it out. It is a white material and it'll be great to polish it, but if you're gonna use it, Make sure that you clean it out afterwards. You use up one all the way, you just grab the next one. And you're gonna wanna do this cleaning process for both sides. There we go. Basically, you'll know that you're done with one side. When you scrub it, when you scrub it down, and the wet side gets gets nothing on it, nothing on it. That's a completely clean Q-tip. I mean, it's a completely clean cotton swab because Q-tips is a brand. All right, and then you just gotta do the other side. Oh, I can clearly see it now. They didn't clean off the cooktop cleaner. Now it'll work if you clean it off the other. If you clean it off after, God, these things are shining now. Yeah, here we go. Now this is a sports game. And it's one thing about it's just one thing I know about sports games for the N64. Nobody really loves them for that long. Well, what I should say is sports games, period. <laughs> Nobody really loves any individual one that long. Not even a moto, not even a motocross game. N64. The trend didn't start there. The trend of of year-based video games didn't start there. But God was there a lot of them. Hell, I'm pretty sure there were like six Maddens on the N64 alone. Not, not yet. 98 to 2004, so maybe like seven. 
N64 had a share of sports games. English Paper Mario is pretty good. Looking for the practice ROM on. Gonna have a lot of cleaning to do. That depends. Some some of the really good ones, sometimes you'll get a game that was owned by a collector. And then you're in luck. Because then you won't have to go through a bunch of cute a bunch of cotton swabs. But yeah, this is how I uh this is how I usually usually clean my games. You get a cotton swab and you just scrub it down. Don't put don't put all your muscle into it, but you can get kind of tough with it. Like it is a very small part of the board, but again, use your common sense. You can use some force with it. I mean, hell, you have to. And look at that. That line right there, that is the line of dirt from the bottom of the, of the cartridge. From the bottom of the contact point. Yeah, here we go. So, next step. And you probably know, already noticed the thing. I need the English one to make the practice wrong, and then the Japanese version to actually speed run on, and I want to back up. That's a good idea. So, here we go. Where is this? What I do is I clean it out. Got the cart, cart right here. Oh, I forgot to grab the controller. Because I test the games. Every cycle that I, that I do this, I test the game. Uh. Oh. It's on top of the box. Okay. Unwind the whole thing. So... What I usually do when I test them, I want to make sure that it not only boots up, but it's going to be able to load up the game. Now, the reason why, the reason why I'm into collecting N64 games and not any kind of disc-based game is because with a cartridge, if it boots up and it runs like one level, like the process for determining if it's a good, if it's a good cartridge or a bad one is a lot easier than with a disc game. Because remember, Cartridges have all the components in there, all the, all the things are in here. If it, it, just the contact points, the main point of fault is the contact points. So if the contact points are good, the entire rest of the game ought to work. Also, if it loads up, that means it'll be able to load up every level because parts of the data are not being screwed over when the disc is da when the when the non-existent disc is damaged. They say the disc, it's a cartridge. I always make sure that it works and loads up at least one level. Or plays through a level. Oh. Here we go. Pause that. Genocide by the Offspring. I do love these games that have like a little 3D model of the expansion pack. That is, that's really, that's a nice touch. I like it. Okay, where's the remote? Where's the remote? Shit. Uh, huh. Ah! I'm extra close to the TV too. Hold on. No! 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 Alright, I think that should be good. I need to turn the volume down because it said something by The Offspring in the menu. I'm like, wait a minute, is this copyrighted music? Alright. Uh, I, li I use an Elgato HD. Not an HD60, not an HD60S, not a in inbuilt capture card. It is the, like, barrel-shaped one. Matter of fact, you know what I can do? Where is this? A springer from Hunting Bee, which is down the street from where I live. Man, so many things. Uh, no, not that one. Here we go. If I go, if I go here, let's see. What am I? 
I'm using an edge because it's low on uh, resources. I usually use chrome. Oh. Let's see. Not the driver, not the 60. Where is it? No, none of these. I don't use this one. Hold on. It's older than that. This one. I use... So me get, I use this one. I use the old one. Game Capture HD. <laughs> That's the one I use. That, that is the capture card I use. It's an HD. Not an HD 60 or anything. Let's say HD. But alright. That is the device I use. Um. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Anytime you're ready, video game. There it is. All right. So, I gotta do this. Press the start button. Okay. So you got a track editor. I'll just load up the track editor. New track. Okay. Cool. Yeah. This is basically just Excite Bike. Excite Bike 64 track editor. A oh, whoops high, but the tracks are smaller. All right. All right. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's just go. Let's go like that. Go like this. Make a quick little sample track. Not like that. Let the start line. Go for that. I'll go like that. And then big jump at the end there. I know this is terrible track design, but you know, whatever. Uh, I'm not even... Go like that. Go like that. Then do a bit of a test drive, see if the track editor works. Which, so far, it seems to be working just fine. Yep. All right, that seems to be just fine. So the track, the track editor works. And then just a race, one player. Okay. Whoa, okay, that is not the game. That is my switcher box that I that, and I've had for a while. Hold on. Oh! No, it isn't. It's gonna be the box. Hold on. My hardware. That has nothing to do with the game. That is not the game fa failing. There you go. I didn't have to do anything. Huh. I gotta get a better solution. It's the... Upscaler that I have, the HDMI upscaler that I have. Yeah, this this glitching out thing, that is not the that is not the game. That is my that is the connection my N sixty four ha N sixty four has to the device itself. Let's just do morning in there. Let's do Tortellini. <laughs> Let's play Squidward Tortellini. I'll do one race. Hey, man, with no stuff. Testing out. Oh, cleaning it. Hold on. Oh. There we go. This, this, this upscaler is... Screw is nutty. It's going weird. I'm not a big fan of the camera angle. Can I change that? No. 
Oh, what, what? Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. There are only three camera angles. Yeah. It's because I'm cleaning out N64 games today. I'm cleaning in... Uh, I, don't, I mean, it's in the, the channel thing. I'm cleaning out N64 games. Okay. I'm only doing one, one lap of this. I don't need to test more than that. So far, it seems fine. As it, I'm going back to the uh, the web the face cam only after I do this after this test is finished. I am a chair man. I'm a chair. I'm big old chair man. I'm a big old chair. I'm not. I'm not, I'm sitting in a chair. Like that and. All right, all right. See, that's what it should have been looking like. Maybe not actually. Maybe it's a little too washed out. All right, so that game definitely works. Okay. Play the music again. So, next, I got some. Lo-fi, uh, Muzak, to go, Nintendo Muzak, there we go. So, here's the thing, got this, got the little dirt in there. What I will do, what I will usually do, to get the dirt out of the little cracks, I'll take something like this, a, uh, eyeglass repair screwdriver, and I'll put it, I'll put some of the toilet paper on there, so that it doesn't scrape up everything, and just... Slide it in there. Most dirt will come out without much, uh, without much needing. Without, uh, much effort, really. A little bit of that. Yeah, I collect N64 games, so I have my own little quirks and stuff that I do. Okay. You just take the same process, run it up along the cracks in here, and that'll get all the nasty dust and stuff out of there. I wish I had a higher definition camera so I could show the result of this. Gotta be careful. If you can feel it scraping, it's probably scraping. So that is your sign that you wanna... What? I'm confused. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I refer to him by the name of the game. Nah, it's a collect. It's I'm a collector of these things. I'm I'm look. I'm looking at get every single U.S. English U.S. release. I, I curate them like a like a museum curator would. That's how I care about care for them. Unless unless we're talking about specific games that I had when I was a kid. In this case, those ones no, I don't name them, but I do have a connection to them. I do have a connection to those games. All right. So all right. So next, rubbing alcohol. This next process. You want to be careful, because while this rubbing alcohol will remove the um, the grime, if it touches the any either the front or back label, uh, well, I mean, what happens when you put when you apply rubbing alcohol to a sticker? It goes blank. <laughs> you remove the ink from it, so you got to be careful. So you get a little bit of this, and you basically make your own alcohol pad. Bam! There it is. Oh, I'm ready for an English copy to an Asian copy. Oh boy! Cross-region compatibility. The way of the future. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. 
You don't want to drench the you don't want to drench the uh, the toilet paper in the out rubbing alcohol. Oh, which one two of those? I don't pay attention to the release date, just to the games that I don't have yet. I, I'm on, I'm I forget which it is. Speaking of N64, we got Mario 64 playing. Oh yeah, Pilot Wings is a bit harder to track down, but I mean Mario is everywhere. A little bit of touching up with this thing. That's all you really need. Oh yeah, that's right. The little, the little dirt in the tea back here. Come on, it's being stubborn. There we go. That's getting rid of it. And take the same napkin toilet paper. Soak the dirt a little bit to loosen it up. Come on, you. Come on, get out of there. There you go. That's what I wanted. I don't use. I'm not using the toilet paper in this exact case because it doesn't. It doesn't have a lot of travel. So any damage that would happen would be in a very, very contained space. We're talking maybe one to one and a half centimeters of space. Because it's just in the T there. Anything bigger and I would use it. I got Midna on the video now. All right. I've never played, let's see, out of the Zelda titles, I have played, because this is Zelda music, the Twilight Princess, I've never played Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword, I, uh, oh, I haven't played a lot of them, I have played the first one, Zelda 2, I own Zelda 2, uh, I own Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Ocarina, and Majora's Mask, uh, I do not own Super, the Super Nintendo one, Link to the Past. And then I have Four Swords Adventures on my DS, and that's all the ones that I have and have played. I haven't played through Wind Waker. I, I had a guy, I had a, a friend of mine when I was younger. Now he runs uh, Smash tournaments. Or at least since last time I saw him, he, run, he was running Smash tournaments. And uh, he had a whole bunch of different games. Oh. It was cool. I, I got to play a couple of minutes of the co-op of Wind Waker. I got to be his Tingle. I got to be Tingle for that guy. Because what you can do, there's a co-op element to Wind Waker. Where one person plays the game, and the other person gets a Game Boy Advance and looks for things. I was the looker. We would have multi We had multiple, like, sleep overnights. And what ha like, this is back when we were... Like, pre, like, around 9 to, like, 12 years old. We'd have, like, times where we'd just hang out in his basement playing, like, Melee. Of course, it got to a point where I had played Melee so many times, I didn't want to play Melee anymore. Because I didn't have Melee, I couldn't practice Melee, and he did own Melee, it being his house, and he would practice to hell and back. <laughs> He was the kind of guy who, to quote him, I'm, I'm pretty sure a quote from his was, I realized that I wasn't going to get any better by just bursting CPU, so I want to burst people. I don't know why he invited me over to whip my ass at it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know what, this is kind of, kind of junky. There is, that is... That seems to be just about completely clean now. There are some scuff marks I can't remove, but it seems to be mostly clean. So we got one more step, but before that, let me get one thing. You, you can, it's, it's back here, hold on.
have a, I have a pack of 50 of these. This one's getting kind of nasty. Let's replace it with a new one. Yeah. These are just, these are shop towels. I use these. I think they look alright. For like, junky little fabric cloths. Literally just take this one, throw it away, have a new one. Put it down. Okay. There's also one, I, uh, this pop filter's also one. Custom made pop filter with, uh, made by using tape and, uh, I mean, clear tape and duct tape. So, to fasten it. And personally, I think it is a pretty good job for a pop filter. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure. At least I'm pretty sure. Put emphasis on the p because it's supposed to stop you from going p and then like blowing out the mic. There's one final step for each of these. Well, actually, two final steps. The first of the two. Is this these are n64 end labels and I am essentially using them as my checklist for how far I am on the back on the front you can see the stickers and on the back I've written how many more games on each sheet are left Aiden Chronicles the first mage that's the last game on this little sheet and I'll be able to throw it out People talk about all kinds of games and stuff, but one thing I really want to get my hands on is a copy of Die Katana. Hey, you can see. Graph, where is it? There it is. I find the correct one. Right here. Come on, you. Come on, Mr. McGrath. It's time to put the sticker on. Okay. Wait. I almost forgot the important... I almost forgot one of the important parts. That. We're gonna open it up and see if there are any kind of nasty things in here. Hold on. Because that is a thing that can happen. I wouldn't... I don't expect there to be anything in here. But I have found some stuff in some games. You want to make sure you look inside. Game bits are not that hard to are not that hard to uh, afford. But I don't want to because this end label is going over the top of where it opens up. Yeah, you can see. You can see we've got a. I th yeah, you can see we've got a line in there. A line of grime in there. USA BP-15. But, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Where is it? Let me, a little more of this. Just try to wipe it down a little. Okay. Here we go. Let's just see if we can if we can't clean this off here. Yeah. It's coming off for the most part. Put a nice wipe down on the inside. A little maintenance operation. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I got most, I got most of it. Yeah, I got most of it. You can still, you can still see the line, but I got most of it. 
I don't want to unscrew these. These are two Phillips head screws. I don't feel I need to unscrew them. Take a quick look in this hole right here. But yeah, everything seems to be pristine. So, put this back on. Now remember, this thing, whenever you open a cartridge, you want to open it like that. Pick it up a, like, pick it up a little bit until you have any form of resistance. You're going to be light with it. And then pull it off. There's this little tab. There are two tabs. There are two tabs that hold these things that hold this into place. And you would not believe how many times I've gotten a cartridge where the tabs are literally just snapped right off. I want to make sure that doesn't happen to anybody else. I'm also going to update the list after this. So I got to apply. So I did that. So when I said there were two steps left, I actually was supposed to say there were three. I'm going to repeat the process for Dr. Mario. That's going to be a bit longer. Did not realize I've already spent an hour on this. Oh, well. Uh, okay, Mr. McGrath. Now we're going to apply the sticker. These end labels are just for my own benefit. I mean, I don't even have a bookshelf, per se, to put them in. But I just like to have the end labels. Got these things off Etsy. Oh, what? Look good. That. Go like that. There we go. I got a little bit of a screw up. I'm trying to remove the, uh... Hold on. Let me just right click this, because I gotta get it to loop. I did not expect this to take over an hour, to take over an hour, but yeah, got more than one. There we go. One copy of Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000, ready for uh, ready for cataloging and storage. I just gotta go like this. Where is the wait? No, no, not on there. All right, uh, pencil. Pencil, 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 pencil. Where is pencil? It's gotta be right here somewhere. Pencil, 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 pencil. Uh. Oh, pencil, pencil, pencil. Uh, where is it? Ah. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Dinner in a little bit. I'm gonna leave the stream open and I'll be back after I eat. Alright. Dr. Mario is going to be one heck of a time. But yeah. 24? Nah. Minus one. Now it's 23. Now I want to get international soup. I want to get international superstar soccer. Or, as it's known in other countries, Ronald. <laughs> Ronaldinho soccer! <laughs> Oh, I want that. There's even a guy. There's even a guy on the end label. There's even a guy laughing on the end label. There he is. I turn it like that. You can see him. He's laughing. <laughs> Ronaldinho soccer. <laughs> so I cross off the 24. Put a 23. You started with 35 on it. So I've actually, I've actually removed, been able to remove 12 of the stickers from there. Nice. 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 Uh, sticker. Alright. Now, to repeat the entire process again. So, next, we're gonna grab Dr. Mario. Now, this boy has got some problems. But, before I put in all the effort, to remove the sticker and the sticker and the disgusting grime all over this thing. Look at that. Look at it! Ah, uh, there weren't even any stickers there! This is how I bought the game! God, look at that back label! Oh, that dark spot is just one big pile, just one big stain of nasty. Ah, uh, the letters are supposed to be white. Over here? Ugh, gross! 
It's a gross game. But I do not want to put in the effort of cleaning the cartridge if it's just not going to work anyway. So, back to cleaning the contacts. Okay. Clean this Dr. Mario. Now I have plenty of games that where the labels have been ripped. Or just the out, open, uh, outright removed. Oh, what's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? Ooh! There we go. There it is. There's that nasty shit. Oh, boy. This! This is a game that was well-loved. Somebody loved the hell out of this game. Not enough to learn how to clean it, but they loved the hell out of it. Got a lot of love. Oh, yeah, we, we're getting grime even when it's dry. All right. Really? Is that all? No fucking way. Come on. No way is that all of it. At least took it a little bit. It's like, no way after all that, it's just one. It's gonna take two. And the problem with this method is that sometimes it won't work. It will not get absolutely everything. You cannot... If it's been, like, corroded, like, rusted away, this will not re will not restore metal. Rust is a chemical change. If you have rusted contacts, first try to clean them. That's a big thing. If you try to clean them, and then they're kind of rusty, they might still work. I gotta tell you that much. It might still work, but it wouldn't look that good. But again, but hey, this is a, uh, it's just the contacts. They don't have to look good, they just gotta work good. Not a lot of people are gonna be looking in your con in the contacts of your games. It must not have been played very well. I have had some of these that took 10 or more, 10 or more fully alcoholed up swabs on a single side. It was absolutely disgusting. They all, it just kept coming black and black, coming back black and black and black and black and black. Like nasty, dirty. Blech. Like nasty amounts of grime on these, on pins. Not these ones. These are actually pretty good. Here we go. Uh, it's time for the gameplay chest. Turn it back up to my face so you can see my face. Cause that guy talking about how I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy with a, with a half a face. I'm a chair man. All right. Pause that. We'll go to N64. Unpause. Uh, unmute that because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have licensed music. All right. Let's test it out. All right, it boots up. It's booting up, so that's a good, that's a good thing. Now we gotta play. Oh. Let's do one player mode, we'll just do. Let's do classic. Uh, hold on. What I usually do is just... That ain't my save data anymore. It's not their save data anymore. This belongs to me and I don't want it anymore. Okay. That's what I always do. Exactly enough. PTLS. Patriot Hills. Uh. 
Not bad. Oh, look at him move. He's, he's moving with them dance moves. Give me police sirens now. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of you. Like that, go there, over there, grab this, like this. Uh oh. I got it. Lost focus for a bit there. There we go. That's not what I wanted to happen. No. Come on. You know you want to give me the right thing. that onto there. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I didn't want to happen. Well, oh well. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't I mean, I was trying to win, but all right. I didn't really need to win. Nah. All right. Well, I believe that proves that this game works. this game works which means it's time to get back to the cleaning I just wanted to test out to make sure it works there we go okay now now let's get to the hard part there we go almost running I'm running kind of low on this paper here so you gotta be careful. Fingernails are some of the best tools for removing these stickers. GameStop, okay. About these different stickers. GameStop stickers, people are like, oh, GameStop stickers are horrible. Oh, they're disgusting. Yes. Yes, they are horrible. When it comes to plastic, when it comes to disc cases. When it comes to disc games, that have cases, GameStop stickers are horrible. They're disgusting. Because these things 
while they might be fine at the beginning, they tend to like to fuse to the type of plastic that these cartridges are made out of. Oh, there we go. That's who I was looking for. Well, I mean, I wasn't looking for it, but... Alright. What is this fox thing? This is a bank filled with only pennies. Don't use any of the sil any of those silver coins. It's not fine. Hold on. Don't use any of the silver coins because they, because they have ridges. This pennies have a smooth edge to them. I mean, you could use nickel. You could use a nickel if you got that. But I use a penny. If I use a penny, I use a penny because it's a. Uh, a bit easier, at least for me, to be able to grip it. Go up against the sticker, and then just left, then just left to right, lifting it off. Pull off a little bit. You're mostly just trying to get the main paper part of the sticker to let go. Anything else? Anything else can be removed with enough rubbing alcohol. With enough nap with enough napkins coated dipped in essentially uh, rubbing alcohol. With enough of those you can remove any sticker. You wanna make it so that you're always pulling up. Pulling it straight up. The more of an angle you have the more the sticker is going to be left when you remove it. You want to pull straight up. Pull straight up so as, so as to pick up as much of it as possible. Don't go at any kind of an angle. It'll come off so much easier if you just pull straight up. Of course, again, sometimes it doesn't matter. But, my default is to pull straight up. There we go. There we go. That's how you get it. Go like that. There. A nice little tab to pull onto and then pull it off. Again, if you can't get it all off, no matter. With enough rubbing alcohol, all this will be removed. You just want to make sure that you remove the outer layer of the paper. Because that is the disgusting seal keeping all the paper stickers safe. See, over time, with people handling these stickers, what will happen is that they will develop a barrier between the paper of the sticker inside and the, out, and the, out, and the outer surface. The outer surface becomes like a skin. And you want to remove the skin to get rid of the paper and the inside. There we go. Just like that. That's how you get it off. Minimal scratching to the plastic because of the smooth edges of the pen itself. Okay, we're down to Jigglypuff now. Put the headphones back on. Yeah, this is the disgusting part. And it's the it's part of the reason why I have another... I have one trash can over there. But I have another smaller trash can. Right here. This garbage. Twenty four ninety nine though, not a bad price. Fun fact: ten dollars less than I paid for it at the store, at the uh, the used GameStop I got it from. I used GameStop by I used Game Shop by the way. Third party used Game Store. Second hand Game Store. They also sell all these cool like toys and stuff. 
like collectibles and things. It's cool. It's within walking distance too, so that's a bonus. And I just go there from time to time, picking up new N64 games I don't have yet. Really nice people. They have been able to stay open regard uh, despite the event. The big 2020 event that shut ever that was so big it shut everything else down. The big 2020 event that I'm not going to name specifically because I don't know if YouTube will not doesn't want me talking about it. But yeah, they've been able to stay open despite the big event. Wasn't big enough to close them down or a lot of other places. There we go. I got you. Hey, Danny. Just doing a demo of cleaning off this thing. I mean, look at that. Look at that sticker. I have no doubt that that used to be white at some point. That is disgusting. Gah. That is, without a doubt, the oldest sticker on this thing. This is the really bad one. You came in right when I'm cleaning a Dr. Mario 64 cartridge. I already cleaned the contacts and made sure it worked. So that all this work doesn't go to waste. This is disgusting. <laughs> why did I do that just now? Why did I? Why was it just like, oh hey Danny, how's it going? Look at this disgusting sticker on this thing. Look at all this bacteria-ridden garbage on this cartridge. <laughs> Hello, person just coming in. Look at this gross shit. Uh. <laughs> I dropped the eyeglass screwdriver. Yeah. It is very small and hard to see. Um, there's another pencil down here. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Okay then. Uh... Oh, even better. Here's something you can use instead of that. A little twist tie. Yeah, for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why. Now I'm gonna show it again, but I'm gonna show the part of the sticker again, but for a good reason this time. Oh god, this sticker is just melting away. Uh, for some reason, the Nintendo logo on the back of these carts are here. Right? Nope, nope. Right there. They're they're like they're like magnets for filth. Gross. Oh wait. It's uh, Okay. I got a, I got a, I got a lo-fi, no copyright Nintendo Remix thing going because of Nintendo games. Uh, well, the plus side of this stupid sticker melting away is that it's coming off much easier than the GameStop one. Which is good because I want to get this shit off here as quickly as possible. God, that's disgusting. Let's, ugh. Come off of there. Come off of there. Rounded edges on a penny. Just removing this filth. Ugh. I don't know if this would be interesting to watch, like, if I did this every time I went out and got some more N64 games. Maybe as, like, a shorter stream every once in a while when I do this. 
I get a couple games together and we can clean them off. I can clean them, I can show my, my uh, process. Hell, I might even uh, get to get around to showing uh, what I do with like, PS2 and, PS and PSX games. But not tonight, I didn't get any more of those. I only got 264 games. I'm trying to spend a little bit of less money. I mean, hell, this one, it's just 35, and that other game was another 10. So it was $45 all combined, all together. So, even for, like, kind of obscure games, it's not the absolute cheapest. It's not really expensive either, but it's also not the absolute cheapest. A lot of things are... are so, a lot of things exist not on the extremes, but within the spectrum of a thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to open this. I'm definitely going to want to open this, because there is undoubtedly some ancient crud in, in between the two halves of this case. There we go. There you go. Yeah, this is definitely the oldest sticker. I can tell, because underneath, it looks practically new. Yikes. God, this has been on. I would not doubt that this is, that this was an old handmade end label. Made by a child. When they owned the game. That is very heartwarming to me. They have these games that people actually care for. And now I'm caring for them. Oh boy. These tiny cracks of all kinds of grime in them. And with a couple of... And with the power of the twist tie, I remove the nasty. Yeah, that's better. There you go. That's looking better already. flipped out of my hand. <laughs> Nobody knew in chat, same man. Whoa. It's a chip out of this case here. This time I only bought two games. I bought this one and I already cleaned up my uh, this copy. I bought Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. One game I really want to get is International Superstar Soccer. Because that has a different name in Spanish speaking countries. Can you guess what that is? International Super Soccer. Can you guess what that is? It's a, it was a topic of a meme game. I already said it earlier before Danny came in. There's always something popping. Some metal thing popping. Can you guess what it is? If you can, I'll tell you. I'll do it again. It's a specific meme. I gotta wait that full 30 seconds to make sure I get a reply to the thing. If it's not within 30, if I don't get a reply in like 30 seconds, I'm just gonna do it. Start 30 seconds from now. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. That's so much better. And it just, the adhesive, the nasty grime, it just melts away. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Wait. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to just, I'm going to play the sound effect. I already did it before, but I'm going to play the sound effect. A 
Let's play it. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want a compilation of it. I just want... Come on. Come on. It's, uh... It's this one. International Super Soccer is actually... Come on. No! Don't look at the image of it. Play the video! Come on, play the video! I can tell why nobody uses Bing. Uh... Okay. It's this! <laughs> Ronaldinho soccer. Ah, <laughs> uh, international superstar soccer. That's what it's called in the, in the U.S. I mean, it's called international superstar soccer in the U.S. But that's what it's called outside of it. Ha ha ha! Ronaldinho soccer! There we go. Oh yeah! I shouldn't be doing that off the thing. I should be doing it on the table. So that people can see it. <laughs> so yeah, if you want Ronaldinho soccer, you're looking and you want the international version of it, which probably will not have his name and him saying that on it. That's it. International Superstar Soccer is the same game. And it's one I don't have yet. Oh, the wind's picking up. Just like it did yesterday when I br when my uh, stream browned out. Come on, you! Come on! Stop cleaning on yourself. Oh, this is just Nintendo no copyright music chill and lo-fi compilation. Literally what the video is called. I just wanted some Nintendo no, non-copyrighted music. These are all remixes. We had a Jigglypuff song uh, later on in this video. Because I've been looping the same video. How far am I in this one? An hour and 22 minutes. <laughs> We've been going for an hour and 22 minutes. Here we go. That's looking better. Oh, yeah. What? Wait. Oh, dear. I've run out of the toilet paper. Get low, JK. Get low. I have a good number of more left to use. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I shouldn't be grabbing this one. I have a whole nother roll that I took out because I didn't realize. Oh, no. I didn't realize that I had one out already. So I took another one out. But a big 18 pack of toilet paper. So I'm going to go back for a while. I buy toilet paper like... Maybe like twice, like once every two months. And I use this shit for everything. This is also Legend of Zelda music. I, at least the, it, the picture is uh, Oracle of Seasons remake.
go. Look at that. It's your boy, dog. They got the top. They got the side. That's where the game. That's where the game. On. Oh, turn the turn the light up a bit. That's where the GameStop sticker was. And there we go. That's a respectable looking cart now. But respectable looking is not the same. It's being the full deal. So I gotta look inside here. Game bit screwdriver. I don't do any of that big pen nonsense. I don't do any of that big pen nonsense. No, thank you. Put a big pen in there. No, no. Just go buy yourself a game bit. Dude, it is ten dollars. It is good for every single N64 game. Most things that come with a game bit, with a small game bit for the cartridges, also comes with a bigger one for consoles and controllers. It's a good investment if you like taking care of your stuff. Don't use a big pen. It's unreliable, and by the end, you thing might pop out. I don't know. I never also I've also never actually gotten that process to work. I'm looking at a picture of Gold Daisy right now. Weird. Uh, come, there we go. Huh. The inside looks just about pristine, I'd say. Uh, except for... Look at that. I... Hold on. Yeah. Nope. A little bit of light. Got little paper scraps in there. So we just use our nice little soft scraper tool. Most things will work for this process. Just... There you go. Get rid of all that sticker residue left over. Oh, okay, that's why it's a Daisy remix. I just bet the girl. This music fits pretty well for what I'm doing here. I don't know if people agree, but I think so. Of course, this is the first time. Tonight is the first time I'm hearing these songs. It has been multiple. I think these fit pretty well, but maybe I should try to find some other music. Yeah, you know, I like this. I like doing this pro this whole process here. And get a better look at the. I almost did the horrible, horrible thing. Look at me, look at me right here. If you ever, if I mean I see ever see you doing this, <sighs> into your cartridge, <sighs> if I ever see you doing that, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. That is the worst thing you can do. I don't care if you think it works. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It creates water contact between the pins and the console. You know what that means? Rust. You are rusting your game cartridges and making them decay faster. So, I will be very disappointed if I see anybody doing... I'm not blowing into it. I'm putting it like this. I'm not even doing it as a, as a demonstration. If I see anybody going... Into anything, Super uh, N64, Super Nintendo, NES, Sega Genesis, Game Boy. Do not do that. That does nothing but damage. It is not. It is 
Long-term damage for short-term gains. You want to not have a cartridge collection? Well, then go ahead and do it. That has been my PSA for today. Do not blow into your cartridges. If you're going to get something out, are you going to get air in there? Hold on. Compressed air. Three cans for the same price of the game as the other game of the game bit. I don't want to ever see any of you do that. I don't want to see any of you ever blow into the cartridges. That is not how you take care of your games. That is not how you make them work. That is how you break them faster. Oh, it made it... Oh, the g belonging to my cartridge made it work. Oh, yeah. And, uh, smoking cigarettes makes you feel good. Long-term damage for short-term gains. That wrecks it. And, because it's rust on both the contacts and the console, you're damaging both. I don't want to ever see anybody doing that. Ninety-one per seventy or higher, seventy percent or higher. Alcohol rating. Your alcohol needs to have a C, a C average or above. Before, uh, if 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 you want to use it on a card on a cartridge, because if it's any if it's less than seventy percent. Hey, Morgan, how's it going? How's it going, Morgan? Come in with the host. Careful with this. Most of the alcohol has been evaporated from here. So it's a very light amount. It's still removing some of the ink from this back label. But. A light touch. You want to use a light touch with barely any alcohol. On the on the thing you're rubbing it with. Okay, it's not the best, but they make they make replacement um they make replacement rear labels and people can make people can replace the labels, people can make reproductions of the labels. It's the hardware in the cartridge that is the real that is the real valuable thing. Without that, you don't have a game. You have a chunk of plastic. You have a beautiful plastic brick. If you uh if you damage the the pins and such. You damage the board and the pins, you have a very color you have a very pretty uh gray brick. And I've already tested it, so it works fine. Ah, there's more than one different sign of uh, physical damage on this cart. Let me see if I can try to get a readout on the kind of person that owned this. It was very well loved. That's why it was all covered in disgusting grime. But it was more than one person. You're the top label. I assume. I'm going to go ahead and assume that... I this kid probably got it. Got this game as a special event. The kind of thing where, oh, I want the game for Christmas. Or, here you go, jo here you go, li little kid. Here's the game for you. For a birthday or Christmas present. And then again, the kid might have also saved up their own money and gotten the game. I'm not entirely sure. Those are my three go-go, uh, 
my three go-to uh, ex uh, explanations about what happened with games. You can really tell how well how well loved the game was based on how dirty the pin the contact pins are. What the? I didn't wipe down the bottom. I didn't wipe down the part that's right next to the pins. Sometimes you miss a spot. There we go. 91% rubbing alcohol. Thumbnails too short, it hurts when I press them in. There we go. Trying to crack my fingers away from the microphone so you guys don't hear it. Oh, okay. That's better. Now that. I've, well, I've heard one thing about the crackening of the fingers. And that is that it won't cause damage as long as it doesn't hurt when you do it. That's what I've heard. If it's hurting, that means you're doing damage. If it doesn't hurt, then you're loosening your fingers up. In a grand majority, of the, in a very large majority of the time, it does not hurt. Only very rarely. Touches. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if this would be a night like a thing, a thing people would want to watch, like se semi regularly or like whenever I need a one shot stream. I could just get together like three or four different games to clean and just have a whole stream of just. We got having chill back, chill music in the background while I do something like this. All right. Here we go. Doctor DRX Mario 64. All right. The RX is for prescription. Because he gives the pills to get rid of the germs. Apply it as close to the middle as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's all oriented correctly. There we go. There we go. Now there is a bit of grime on the front. But, uh... It looks good enough. I don't want to risk anything. So then... Got this sticker sheet. Cross off the 32. And now make it a 31. Alright. And now... The final step of... The final step of the cataloging process. I've got to take these two games and add them a big collection of them of, of other games now these two are both before the letter s which means that two games are being moved out they're going to be moved out of the big container into the smaller container next to it this is just always here by the way that's just always sitting there 
underneath this box. Okay, so let's go to display one. There we go. We're done cleaning the games now. Let's look up at me. Don't need that anymore. That whole thing. That's done right now. I can also show you the latest uh, <laughs> science diagram that looks like... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. The viewer count. And the follower goal. And, uh, chat? Chat's still on. Alright. Alright. Oh, Mew More. How Holy City. How Holy City. Alright. So I. Uh, there it is. There it is. Let's get to the... I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. I should have kept that going. So here is mine. Oh, wait. Oh! I don't care. Oh, hold on. I have to request. Oh, I could just link this. I could just link this. I thought I needed a public sec public section, but you see, Sega Saturn, Genesis, N sixty four. Is my little thingy? Okay. I have a new uh. I have a new uh, diet, uh, science diagram that looks like a shit post. <laughs> the basketball is easy to catch because it has smaller mass and, it is, and less inertia. The anvil has larger mass and more inertia. It is harder to stop. <laughs> I hope my comp I mean, I got the window open and... No, 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 Okay. I got the window open in 24 degree weather. I got the window open in 24 degree weather, so. It should be good. It shouldn't get too overheated. Keeping it cool, because it's a very uh, intensive, very heat intensive situation. I should have this open. Oh, wait, no, it's that. Hold on a second, 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 hold on a second. I might have some stuff, inappropriate stuff open in this, in this Google Chrome. Hold on. We're done with the cleaning, so. Back up to everything. Okay, no. Oh, wait, no, that 13 is uh, how many... Okay. Okay. I didn't realize you needed to request edit access. Yeah, this is a very much a different angle. I have it turned at more of an angle. Hold on. Wait. Alright. No! Okay. So, here we go. So these ones are here. Now at the bottom of this page... The bottom of this page, past updates. January 2021. There's that. We got all these ones added. You go to this month's editions. 
They to reflect it when I added them. To okay, so that note doesn't actually hurt. Um. Take this. Block it out. No, actually, it's when I when it's added to the collection, not uh, not when it's purchased. So, man with the st man with no stuff. I'm at. I just I finished cleaning these. I'm gonna go back to the BRB real quick to show you that. Hold on. Look at that. This is the one that had all the stickers and stuff all over it. Oh, wait. There we go. Bam, here we go. Look at that. This is all disgusting before. Now it's looking good. Got the end label on there. Yeah. That's some good looking stuff right there. All right. All right, I guess I'll see you around then. Uh, display one. Okay. NGB, Nintendo Game Boy. All right. So. March. March 2021, you got 2 and we're doing alphabetical order. with the dominant sport. <laughs> I copy this. Actually, no, I gotta copy the whole thing. Okay. This is gonna go down anyway. Uh... Dr. Mario goes right. Q R S T. Okay. Now we usually go like that. Remove everything else. Dr. Mario and 64. Remove that. Go up here. Remove the space. And Jeremy McGrath. games. God, it's been about two hours. And then I'm going to have two hours to show off something else. Alright. So then that gets shown off. Gang Griffey Jr. Slugfest. And Jeremy McGrath Supercross. It's not McGrath. It's not possessive. It's just Jeremy McGrath Supercross. Not McGrath's. He doesn't own it. He is it. He is the Supercross. So then the final part that you want to do, you want to go to the B you want to go to the BRB camera. I want to go to the BRB camera. And then go in here. I got two two boxes. Two, count them, two game boxes. And I have two, count them, two marshmallows. 
I cannot wait until I get through this segment because my computer is melting down as we speak. Let me count the ways. Let me count the ways. My computer slowly overheats. One. <laughs> Doing too many things at once. At once. This box right here. We need to make space. Two more. Ow. Two more games. That's it. Oh, okay. We go backwards. We face forward and we go backwards. So that means there's these two. One back and wipe out. And then Tony Hawk First Skater 2 and Top Gear Overdrive. Got Spider Man in this box. But pretty much anything from San Francisco Rush all the way to Xena is in this box. Okay. And move these two. Well. Leaving the bigger box and moving backwards are Rugrats Scavenger Hunt and Rush 2 Extreme Racing USA. Which means, because Rugrats Scavenger Hunt was the, uh, is now the earliest in the... Wait a minute. Tony Hawk doesn't need to go, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 doesn't need to go to the other row. Oh yes it does, never mind. That'll be too tight of a squeeze. Alright. So now that that box is done with, put this one back under the bed. That one goes back under. And now to put these two away. I'll start with Duck. Uh, no, Jeremy's further down. Supercross is further down. Go over here. Uh, back to the way we loop back around to the Zelda music. Let's see here. Pilot wings. No, pilot wings do it after Purple Sun. Uh, NBA in the zone 98. Uh, JKL. Uh, Majora's Mask. Wait, is it? Yeah, Majora's Mask. So, let's see, NBA hang time and NASCAR 2000, alright, move these back, this game, Kobe Bryant in NBA courtside, Kobe, okay, Knockout Kings, JK, okay. Getting close. Knife Edge, Kirby 64, Ken Griffey Slugfest, The Force Gemini is in here. A copy of Jet Force. Oh, there it is. No, that's Mario. That's Mario Tennis. It's not just a game, I have a little plastic case. I have Jet Force Gemini in a similar case. Jeremy will go right here. 
between Hybrid Heaven and Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest. Alright, then we go back here. Extreme G. Hardcore e ECW Hardcore Revolution. Dual Heroes. So, sometimes, sometimes you can't salvage one or more of the uh, labels. So this happens. I'm gonna get a bunch of rare labels. Hell, sometimes you can't salvage any of it. And what's more than that, sometimes this happens. You get a big hole in the front. That's Duke Nukem Zero Hour. I need to go over this again. There's plenty more stuff I can remove. Why don't I just do that now? This is the this is the N64 cart cleaning part of the thing. Why didn't I clean this? Why didn't I finish cleaning this? What? Hi. What is it, Navi? Ah, oh, it's a sick beat. Yeah, here we go. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of that nasty, disgusting slop on the back here. That's better. few scratches here and there, but overall, I got most of it. I got, well, I got all the residue. Alright. There we go. Now that, that is looking better. Okay. Doom 64. Donkey, C oh wait. I'm past it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. So before Duke, before Dual Heroes, but after Dune 64, and this buddy goes right, right in there. All right, all catalog, nice and orderized. Nice and organized. I do need to clean some of these. But, there we go. Got it. There are some of these that you gotta clean a little more. Let's just... Further, please. There you go. 